In this video, I would like to show you how to generate forecasts using simple uh, exponential smoothing. Okay, so for exponential smoothing, you need two things to start. First, you need a um, forecast, okay, and then you need uh, the smoothing ca constant alpha, okay. So let's say alpha is 0.5. Okay, now in this case, um, we need uh, a starting forecast, okay, and for just, I'm just going to make up a random number, let's say uh, 28, okay, you can use a different number, okay, so these are my uh, beginning values, okay, so let's calculate uh, the error okay I'm gonna put the error here okay so you know what um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna put the error here okay what is the error uh, type equal demand minus um, forecast Okay, this is my error. And then I uh, come to the lower right hand corner, click and drag. Okay, and so these are my error values. Okay, so for the first period, my error is uh, minus two. Okay, that means my forecast too high my forecast is too high, I need to bring it down, okay? I do that by entering the following equation, equals the previous forecast, click here, plus the smoothing constant times the error, okay? So I start with the previous forecast, I add to it alpha times the forecast error, okay? So basically I correct the previous forecast with the associated error. I click enter. I'm going to click and drag and copy this formula, uh, but I want this alpha value to stay where it is, okay? So then, uh, for that, I put a dollar sign between H and 1, okay? So, um, I come to the lower right-hand corner, I click and drag, okay? Uh, let me fix the format here, number, let's say 2, okay. So here... I'm just going to take a uh, uh, period at random, maybe period 8. I look at the values in, involved in the formula. So I take the previous forecast plus this times this. Okay. So uh, my formula is correct. Uh, number 2, yes. So then, uh, let's see uh, what happens when we add the um, forecasts to the demand plot. Okay, so I right click, uh, select data, add, and here the serious name will be forecast, and the y values will be these. Okay. So as you can see, um, the values uh, shown in red are the forecast values. And as I change this, they're going to change. So 0.1, for example, okay, or 0.6. So um, now the question is, which value of alpha will give me the best 
forecast quality. Okay, so let's uh, calculate that. So I have these errors and their uh, average will give me mean forecast error. Okay, so uh, so equals average okay 0.06 and then uh, so this is my uh, bias measure and to calculate accuracy I calculate absolute error and squared error okay and then I calculate absolute percentage error so uh, the absolute error will be equals abs open parenthesis error close parenthesis enter this will be equal uh, error times itself error okay and uh, absolute percentage error will be abs parenthesis error close parenthesis divided by the actual demand okay so I want these two with two decimal places okay and I want this to express as a percentage okay so I select these three come to the lower right hand corner and I click and drag okay so uh, these are my absolute errors these are my squared errors these are my percentage errors okay and then this is the average so I click and drag here okay and uh, I select these three uh, cells to copy their formats I click on the brush icon and I click here okay so so this is bias when I average the absolute uh, error I get mean absolute deviation when I average the squared errors I get mean squared error when I average the absolute percentage error I get mean absolute percentage error okay so I select these three double click here okay so this gives me accuracy uh, and these two also give me accuracy okay so I want you to change the value of alpha and see how these change okay and I want you to um, calculate uh, let's, let me put alpha here alpha 0 0.1 0 0.2 etc up to 0.9 okay so for alpha equals 0.1 let's calculate this okay so as you can see uh, alpha equals 0.1 gives me these so I click copy right click uh, paste values okay and as you can see here the forecast is very smooth why because the correction factor is very very low each forecast is corrected by a very small amount okay so let's go from point 0.1 to point 0.2 now the correction will increase so you're going to see more ups and downs here because each forecast will be uh, corrected to a greater degree point two see it has become a bit more fluctuating and a bit more responsive okay let's calculate uh, let's copy these okay uh, copy uh, paste okay and then I'm gonna put point three here okay the values okay uh, copy paste one two three point four okay 
uh, copy paste values okay 0.5 okay so you can go all the way to 0.9 and uh, let's see how, it, how everything looks so far. So these are going to be numbers with two decimal places. These are going to be percentages. So as you can see, in terms of percentage, absolute percentage error, there's not much of a difference. 10% to 11%, okay? But uh, when you look at bias, you see a clear downward trend, okay? So as alpha goes up, the bias goes down because these numbers get closer to zero, okay? So complete this table, okay, all the way up to alpha equals point, uh, uh, 0.9, and then uh, tell me which alpha is best in terms of accuracy and bias.